the real is bounce, they thought I was done, but all that doubt, you gotta pay money, that's a real. Salute when you see me. Put in the car to the, my runner gets you speedy. Still thugging like the days when they weren't here in my CD. Made it out of the trenches, just salute when you see me. Yeah, salute when you see me. And now we get a peek at some of the top players here for this Madden Ultimate Team matchup. Brandon God and Charles Davis ready to go in the booth. We hope you're ready to go at the controls. Let's play. Here's the former Utah Ute, Matt Gay, to get this one started. And off we go from Lambeau. Very short kick, taken right at the 20. And a decent return out to the 27-yard line. Jackson on first down. Oh, he's going to air it out right away. And this is dropped. Oh, boy. A chance for a big play early, but he could not secure it. As his old brain remembers, when I see five wide receivers on the field as a defender, I know the ball's coming out high. They expected it and got there and popped it free. Here's second and ten. Throwing is Jackson. That's complete to DK Metcalf. And he takes it all the way down to the 28-yard line. So now then, the big play has him all the way inside the 30 now, first and 10. The first carry now for Dalvin Cook. Different story this time around. We had that huge gain followed by a sizable loss here. It always helps when you get great run support from your safeties and when you get one who can actually read the play and get upfield and shut it down before it gets going, it's exactly what you're looking for. Escaping the pressure right. Finding room to the 20. And down to the 20 he'll go before heading out of bounds. A nice job of eluding the pressure there, scrambling for 11. And I see an extra defensive back on the field. little surprise here on third and one. They'll run it. Here's Cook. And he'll have the first down, getting this one to the 14-yard line. Give him the third down conversion, five yards on the play. Throwing now, Jackson on first down. This is caught. And he'll be out of bounds. A good-looking drive for the Packers so far. It's a first down. To throw is Jackson. And it's a Packers touchdown. DK Metcalf. Fine work there on the touchdown run. And the Packers take it right down the field and score on the opening drive. Extra point by Gay is up and good. And that makes the score 7-0. So after the touchdown, Martin now on to kick this one away. Taken in at the three. And he'll get it up past the 20 to about the 22. And not much there. Maybe a yard up to the 24. They'd love to just strike back with a touchdown right here. And if it's a long play, so be it. But the main goal, get a couple of first downs, run some plays, run some clock, allow their defense to get a chance to catch their breath, settle down, and relax a little bit after they just gave up a score. It's incomplete. Took a shot, couldn't connect. That was an interesting look there because as soon as he got outside the pocket, I thought he was going to take off and run for yardage. But what often happens now with these quarterbacks who can move, defenses want to try and keep bodies in front of them. And I think that discouraged him from 
taking off and made him try a pass downfield that fell incomplete. Throwing on third down, Fields. Uh, nowhere for Fields to turn, and down he goes. Preston Smith comes in for the sack. And this is what you've got to do against a quarterback like him. You've got to keep him in the pocket and not let him get to the perimeter, because once he gets outside, that's where he can really hurt you. And it's fielded at the 34. And out of bounds on the other side of midfield at the 45. 21 yards. Well done on the return. And the Packers will have a short field to work with here as they take over first and 10. On first and 10, it's Jackson. And that is incomplete. He couldn't hold on through the contact. Brings up second down. So after the incompletion on first, now second and 10. Jackson going for Metcalf on the deep ball. And this is dropped. Oh, it's incomplete. He had a big gainer in his sights, but he could not reel it in. Metcalf once again the target, and it's third down. Jackson now. And he works it past the 30, almost to the 25. 18 yards on his first catch of the game. It's a first down. A give to Cook out of the gun. And down inside the 15 he goes. A good gain again. That's now 31 yards combined on those last two plays. After one, seven nothing on EA Sports. Here's a first and 10 at the 14 yard line. Now Cook. And they get to him quickly here as he stopped right around the 13. In on the stop, the safety, Troy Apke. Here's second and nine, just a yard on that last run. From the gun, it's Jackson. And he's got his man in stride, complete. Touchdown! Lance Allworth from 13 yards out. And the Packers add six to their lead. It's not much as perfect in football, but that's about as close to it as you're going to get. Score, force a punt, score again. And both drives were impressive. The opening drive was, that last one was. Now on the other side, though, what's your psyche? You're really behind the eight ball. You got to make sure you just hold in there. Survive the early storm, relax a little bit, and try and get back to your game plan. It's way too early for panic. The Dolphins at the line ready for their next drive. They're staring at a two-touchdown deficit, 14-0 to score as they regroup with first and 10. Takes this to the 27, give him four yards. Well, on every play call, you realize it's not going to go for a touchdown, so a lot of your calls are setting things up for maybe later in the game, trying to establish the inside run, run with toughness now, hopefully get to the perimeter later, and let's face it, you could do worse than a four-yard run on first down. And he's got some space here. And he'll be out of bounds just shy of the 40. A gain there of 30 big ones. And this offense needed something to try and seize the momentum a little bit. And that might have been exactly what they needed. Now they have a chance to go downfield and score and cut into the lead. Edwards Alaire as they run out of the gun. Solid running on the carry, but still brought down just inside the 40. Give him three on first down. It'll set up a second and seven. Here's Fields. He's going to fire one deep over the middle. And this is caught inside the five. And all the way in for a Miami touchdown. Kyle Pitts, 39 yards. And the Dolphins able to get this back within a touchdown. Matt Gay on for the extra point. And that one makes it 14 to 7. Following the touchdown, here's Gay to kick it away. 
Very short kick taken right at the 20. Well, now how about this return? And he is out of bounds as they'll start up past the 30. About set to get this drive started. The Green Bay offense at the line. Now, right now they're saying, hey, let's keep this going. Two drives, two touchdowns. Yeah, can't ask for a better start than that, can you? I mean, this is the way you practice it. This is the way you rehearse it. But right now, the play calling, they're locked in really well. And he'll be out of bounds after getting this one across the 40. He'll wind up getting nine after tucking it and running, so it'll leave him with second and a yard. They go play action with Jackson. Steps away. 157 to go in this first half on EA Sports. Real quick. Coming up at halftime in a little less than two minutes, we'll send you to Orlando where Jonathan Coachman is standing by. He'll have highlights and analysis of this first half. And the throw there going to be incomplete. That could be the stop this defense needed to get them back on track. They've been pretty well dissected by the offense here in the first half. After that possession, now they know that they can compete with this offense. Fourth down, here's Jackson. And he's not able to get away. He is stopped well, well short of a first down. So certainly an interesting call there to go for it. And the Dolphins get the football in great field position. A quick throw here out to Brown. And he's going to get this inside the 30. A Miami first down, that one going for a gain of 11. I like watching the wide receiver screen because it's a real teamwork play. Because guess what? The guy catching the ball, he'll get all the credit. But how about the people up to block in front of him, either fellow receivers or offensive linemen? That makes that play a really nice timing play, and sometimes it can break big. And he's tackled a yard short of the marker. Good gain of nine on first down. A nice run there, nine yards. And it, oh, the ball is out. Edwards Alaire lost it. And the Packers pick it up. And a big turnover there as his guys will get the football back. Always costly to cough up that football. These defenders, they become so adept, though, at jarring it free. Yeah, it's amazing that there aren't more fumbles caused because now, if you're an offensive player, you go through ball security drills every single day. It's really not out of line to think you should take the ball to bed with you and just hold on to it. But the bottom line is, no matter how much you try to protect it, these guys are pretty good at finding ways to knock it out. And it'll be incomplete. Good job staying with him defensively. And it'll bring up second down. After the incomplete pass, here now is second and 10. Now it's Jackson. He's going to try and go deep again. And he bats it away, and it falls down incomplete. There is something to a game plan when trying to keep a defense honest with a guy with that type of speed. You do so. Send him deep. Try to throw some air under it and hope you connect downfield. On that play, they run successful. And he's taken down, but not before he gets this across the 25-yard line. The Packers going to use one of their timeouts as they get the stoppage with a little over 50 seconds to go in the first half. Eluding the pressure right. And that is incomplete. Oh, the coverage a little too good there, and it's second down. Metcalf once again the target. That'll bring up second down. To throw again is Jackson. Buying time to his left. Now he'll let it go on the run. Deep left side. And he's got it. What a catch on the sideline. Now the Packers going to go ahead and use the second of their timeouts as the clock will stop with 35 seconds to go in quarter number two. So how about that for a chain mover? They're all the way down inside the 40 now for first and 10. From the gun, Jackson. Flushed out right. And that is incomplete. Tyler Lockett was the target there. And now it's second down. Jackson from the shotgun. 
And that is incomplete. A lot of force bearing down on him there. He could not hang on. It's third down. This offense was on the move. Now two straight incompletions have him looking at third and ten. Is this intercepted? It is. It's intercepted. Picked up by the great one, Darrell Rivas. And his guys have got it back at the closing stages of the first half. The Dolphins at the line ready for their next drive as they take over with just 17 seconds left before the break. And they'll indeed start on the ground to run that clock. Fighting through, and he's got space. And how about that for just running out the clock? Now a timeout taken. Perhaps a chance for one more quick play and then another timeout if they hurry. We'll see. From all the way up at the 38 now after a good start to the drive. Fields. And that'll be incomplete with just six seconds left on the clock. Devin Hester, the intended receiver, but it'll be second down. Go over the dime look on defense. Two extra defensive backs on the field have covered up essentially every blade of grass. That allowed them to disrupt the play. A final shot before the break. Fields. Now he's forced out right. And this one is incomplete. First half in the books. You're watching the NFL on EA Sports. down on the scoreboard but they'll have it first as we get going in this third quarter this fielded right at the goal line and they'll get him down inside the 30th to 27 the Dolphins at the line ready for their next drive and they do trail but they have a chance to possess the football first to try and do something about it and that certainly makes it something of an important drive for them because is it going to win the game no but you have to do something to bring some life to your sideline three yards on that last carry here's second and seven Here's Fields. That is caught by the former Gator, Antonio Callaway. He was held without a catch in the first half, but he's got one here, and he also picks up a first down. This has to go down as one of the simpler routes in the playbook, but oh so effective. Nice completion there. Keeps the sticks moving. First and ten, it's Edwards Alaire with it. And a six-yard gain gets him right around the 43. You know, despite the scoreline, I think they've got to like where they are here. They're on the road and just one big play away from getting right back in this game. I'm going to follow right along with you because the spot they're in now is a credit to their defense. They've kept them in it by making the plays that they've made, and that just means you're one big score away from being right back there. Now the question is, can this offense step up and make that play? Because that's been an issue for them in this game. Four yards, the pick up, first down. Now Fields. That's gonna be caught by Pitts. And he's got this down to the 35. 18 big yards on that one, and a Miami first. Here's Edwards Alaire. A first down and more for Edwards Alaire. And down to the 16 yard line. 73 yards for him on the ground now, as he has been terrific here this afternoon. So the ball down to the 16 here for first and 10. They'll run here with Edwards Hilaire. And he'll get four there down to about the 12-yard line. Following the pickup of four, here's second and six. Going to give this time to the tailback. 
Down to the six-yard line on a pickup of six as he gets halfway to the goal line. This drive is turning into an extended one, and, and the guy carrying the ball, he's becoming more like a body blows guy. Every carry is putting some damage on the defense. So after a while, I'm not too sure how many guys are going to want to run up and tackle him. This will be the eighth play of the drive, and it's third and inches. And they'll let their fullback try and push the pile. And he'll take this into the end zone for a Dolphins touchdown. A six-yard touchdown run. And the Dolphins have a chance to tie the ball game here in the final minute of the third. Extra point by Gay is up and good. And that will tie our game here in the third. Nothing separating these two teams on the scoreboard as the kick's away here. Very short kick, taken right at the 20. And they're going to start this drive in pretty good shape as they get it up past the 30. The Packer offense ready to get their next drive underway. Their halftime lead now evaporated. We're back to level following that touchdown a moment ago. And that shouldn't change the mindset a whole lot from an offensive perspective because they already knew this was going to be a hard-fought game. Now they just need to go out, execute their game plan, and keep moving. And it is incomplete. Good positioning there downfield to break that one up. Throwing again on second and ten. Jackson. Left sideline, a dive, and it looks like he's got it. Fifth catch of the afternoon, and that gives him a first down. Now Jackson. Flush to his right. Nothing open downfield, so he'll throw it away. Oh, I like that right there. Not only was it the right play, throwing it away like that, frankly, I think it was the only play. Yeah, got outside of the pocket, realized he had nothing. Just chucked it free. Yeah, lived to fight another down, right? Going for Metcalf on the deep ball. And that one knocked away and incomplete. Nice job defensively on what will be the final play of the third quarter. Possibly a turning point. Big play coming. This is third and long. Again, Jackson. Escaping the pressure right. And the catch is made here by Tyler Lockett. And he's going to have a Packers first down as they're able to get the third down conversion. How about 25 yards on third down? They'll take it. <laughs> Throwing on first down, it's Jackson. Steps away to his left. And this is going to be intercepted. Picked off by Fabian Moreau. There he goes, right side. He got outside the pocket there, tried to improvise, and he was calling for the ball downfield, but still the interception. I think what happened, he did call for the ball thinking that he was open, but I think the quarterback spotted him too late, and that margin that he had on the defenders, that got eaten up, and they came up with the interception. They'll try and run for it on first and goal, and he is in. Touchdown, Miami. Clyde Edwards-Alaire taking it in from a yard out. And the Dolphins have taken the lead. So what a comeback here. They looked like they might be down and out not too long ago, but they have rallied back to take a fourth quarter lead. And I think we've got to give them nothing but credit for figuring things out on the fly because mentally, they were on the ropes ready to go and they hung in there. They made some changes and adjustments and that led to some big plays and it turned this game on its ear. After the touchdown, it's Gay to kick this one away. From just inside the 20, a short kick. And they're going to wind up with pretty good starting field position as they get it up past the 35. About set to get this drive started. The Green Bay offense at the line. And now they'll look to answer working from behind. And remember, this offense has sputtered yet to score here in the second half. They'll need to change that here. They'll contain him to just four. Second down. Now it's Jackson setting up the screen for Cook. 
Nothing on the screen that time. Now it's third down. I thought that wasn't a bad time to call the screen. I thought late game, down on the scoreboard, had to figure they were expecting a pass downfield. Yeah, so the edge rushers, they're coming. That could have hit big. You're right. Good recognition defensively to snuff that one out. And oh, a crusher there as it's intercepted. Picked up by Ron Thornhill. And they will take over possession of the football at their 42-yard line. He got out of the pocket there, was wondering what he was going to do with it, but I think he was calling, his receiver was calling for the ball, wasn't he? He certainly was a problem. He called for it too late, and when he delivered, they were all over him in the secondary and came up with the interception. And they're well past midfield, just a yard or two shy of the 40. And even 100 yards rushing for him now as he has been tremendous all day long. Fourth quarter, down to the final two minutes, and we've got a one-score game. So the Dolphins have it as we welcome you back in. Not totally home free yet, but it's looking good as they come up first and 10. It's a six-yard pickup, but it gets them to second and four. And now right out of the two-minute break, we'll get a timeout used defensively with a minute 56 to go. So they come up on second down, and they can get another run like we just saw. Would likely put an end to this thing. Got a man. It's Brown. A gain of five, good enough for the first down. A give to the fullback on the dive. And they'll get him down after a pickup of eight, second and two. This is where, you know, fourth quarter, you got the lead, you give it to the big guy defensively kind of sucks the will out of them, doesn't it? Because they don't want to tackle him right now this late in the game. Well, you say that with accusatory tones. I mean, <laughs> you know, but you're exactly right. I know it's not something we actually want to talk about, but as a defender, four quarters worth of trying to bring people down, four quarters worth of pounding, and now late in the game, here comes that big guy coming at you, and a lot of guys are wondering where they want to come up and make that tackle at this stage of the game. He's got his man, Marquise Brown. And he is going to have the Dolphins first down as he's able to get about three that time on third and inches. It's a gain of three there, and that should be just about all she wrote. So a victory here for the Miami Dolphins. And it was their defense that really made the statement after the break. They pitched the second half shutout. Yeah, think about the team that just got vanquished. They did score in the second quarter. Do you think they thought at all that that would be their last points of the game? No, I, but what a second half. The adjustment, whatever they did in the locker room, it certainly worked. It certainly did, and you're exactly right. Whether it was an adjustment, whether it was just more focus on what they planned to do going in, whether they just played better, whatever it was, it all came together in the second half, and no points were allowed. That's a great way to close them out. So that'll do it from here for Charles Davis and the rest of our crew. I'm Brandon Gordon. You've been watching Madden Ultimate Team on EA Sports. For more, check us out at easports.com slash Madden. With that, we say so long, everyone, from Lambeau.